Hey everyone and welcome to this series about building a web application in C Sharp. We're going to use ASP.NET, we're going to try and build everything from scratch and um, the plan for this course is, um, is a pretty big one actually. I'm going to touch on so many different topics um, that hopefully this course <laughs> will blow your mind and you'll learn so much about not only how we make a front end for an application but actually how we store our data, persist our data all the way down to a database and after you're done with this, hopefully you know how to make a web application where you have some kind of front page that your user can manipulate some data in the database. That's the goal of it. And um, we're going to split it into a few different series. I'm going to make some kind of just a crash course. And this is going to be this series where we're just going to make some C Sharp basics. How do we install Visual Studio? What is C Sharp? How do we use it? Um, just some very basic stuff. What is an MS SQL server? How do we set it up? How do we use it? Very, very easy things for, uh, for you guys who've already know how to code. But for those who haven't seen C Sharp, this is going to be brand new. And that's why I want to make it just to get some kind of overview on how to use C Sharp. So we're going to touch on some of these topics. We're going to look into classes, interfaces. We're going to look into loops, how to make a small application, just very basic stuff. And then we're going to just touch on Git because I want to save all my stuff on Git so you guys can get it for your machines. And... Um, some other things, we're going to get into that as we move along. Then I want to do another crash course where we start talking about the basics of HTML, CSS. I'm also going to talk about Bootstrap because I want you guys to use that. And um, later on we're going to advance on this and work with AngularJS and JavaScript. But that's not going to be until in the end of the course. Because the next step will be to actually start working with how do we make a distributed system and what is a distributed system. Well, think of it as a way for us to um, make a service that you guys can reach from everywhere and then make some applications that use this service. That's kind of what we're going to do. So we're going to have a front end that's going to be built on MVC, ASP.NET MVC, which is ASP.NET's version of uh, building a front end tool. And they're going to use something called, they we're going to use something called Racer to actually build our UI. And then of course, HTML and CSS. Then we're going to, at the back end, we're going to make a web API, which is what we call a REST API also. It's going to be a place where you guys can just start pulling data out of the system. And the database we're going to use this time is an MS SQL database, a relational database, and it's going to be storing some kind of data that we can then pull out using the web API. I'll get into this as we move along. The front end MVC part. We're going to build some kind, I'm not sure it's going to be a course plan, I haven't really decided yet, but we're going to build some kind of UI where we can manipulate the data from. This is where the user can manipulate your data. This is the most important thing for a customer, pretty much. He wants his data to be safe, of course, but he also wants a good UI, an easy way to manipulate that data. That's the goal of it. That's why we're here. We are here to support the customer in storing and manipulating data. Then we're going to build this web API and I just, we're going to talk about how the data gets between the REST API back and forth and how it gets to the client and, and how we send the data back and forth. I'm going to use JSON to do that and I'm going to explain all of that to you when we get to it. And the last thing we're going to touch upon is how to use an MS SQL database, a relational database to store that data. And we're going to use a little thing called the Entity Framework, which is Microsoft's way of communicating between the database and the C-sharp code to make objects. And if you don't know what that is, we'll get into it. I'll explain it. Don't worry. And then we'll end up making a real web application. So we're going to try and build something. And in the beginning, I'm going to build it on Racer, but I want to move over to AngularJS. So I think when we get to this point, Racer, I'm going to skip that and start looking into the Angular code and maybe even Angular 2 because I know that's out there and it's almost ready for launch. So we might move into AngularJS version 2. But it will be built on MVC, ASP.NET MVC still. Just with the Angular front end. Oh, that's exciting. And that's it. That's what the course is about. And you can see there's so much to cover here. It's going to take so long time, but hopefully we'll have fun. And when I'm done with the videos, as always, they're probably going to be outdated. But I'm just going to do it again and again and again until you guys get what we're talking about. So see you for the first lessons, which will happen right here in this series, where we'll talk about C-sharp basics. See you next time.